hindi siya pantay, di ba? Nakakabuisit. Kumbaga, parang betlog, di ba? Hindi pwedeng hindi pantay yun. Okay, so makina stuff. This is the first video we're doing now post the lockdown. And uh, syempre hopeful tayo na wala tayong mararanasan na second wave and all of that. Anyway, what are we featuring? Meron po tayong Jilly helmet. The unboxing of Jilly helmets. I have the box. Tinanggal ko na siya. If you're wondering bakit ganito itsura niya naka-flat. It's because I'm in the US. Binago siya, tinanggal ko sa box para magkasya sa bagay ko. And so here's the helmet. Let's take a look. It's a modular helmet. Huh? I was supposed to release this right after Drag Race. Hat mga March ko pa to nilabas. Pero yun nga, na-lockdown tayo sa New York. Nagkagulo doon. And we couldn't move forward. We couldn't shoot properly. So that's why ngayon lang natin to nagawa. So, daladala ko to the whole time. Ang first encounter ko sa Jilly helmet was in the event of Telibuhay. So, it's a new helmet. Naturally, it picked my interest and they said, Zach, gusto mo bang i-try out? Sabi ko, oo naman, di ba? Basta bago, natutuwa tayo dyan. We wanna try it out so we can share it to you guys. So, a little bit of history. This company, Jilly, is registered in Italy. The box says, Italy Design. Italy Design. DOT certified siya. Which comes to mind, do these things matter ba? Ano ba yung issue with origin? Eh, for me, I, I think origin stories, importante yun. Parang X-Men, di ba? Yung origin story ni Wolverine. Paano nagsimula si Wolverine? So, that has more bearing in terms of where it came from because of philosophy. Yun naman yung inaabangan natin kung saan gawa ang isang bagay kasi ganun yung mindset ng mga tao doon without thinking of race. Pansantabi nyo na yung, yung race. More on the mindset and management ang inaabang nyo dito. That's why origin stories are, are good. Let's talk Talk about the helmet, you know? Sino nagpasok sa kanila dito? It's distributed by the Hardcore Brothers. Sila yung nagpasok ng Royal Enfield. Now, in terms of the model name, I'm, I'm just guessing here, looking at the box. Nakalagay dito, Casco, Capacete. Google nga natin, ibig sabihin ng Capacete. It's Capacete in English. Helmet. It's helmet. Casco. Casco. What does Casco mean? Casco in English means helmet. So I don't think the model of this is called helmet. Let's scrutinize the helmet and see what's up with this. So this is a modular helmet. It is made from ABS 709. Yun yung shell niya. And the um, ABS 709 is the normal, one of the ones that you would want to look out for in a helmet. I immediately like the idea na they are offering something with solid colors because I'm a solid color kind of guy. Bago ko siya suotin and see the interior. Let's take a look at the finish. Kung gusto magnet, pick, aabangan mo dyan is the distortion of the paint. Kasi kung unang tingin, ganyan, maayos makinis. Pero pag binuff mo niya na super pino, yung image niya parang tubig na. This one is not quite like that, but it can be like that. So meron mga helmet na kailangan mo pa i-buff kung talagang gusto mo super kinis. Tapos may mga helmet na hindi mo na kailangan i-buff. Yung definition ng mga linya, yung definition niya. Kunyari, yung talbog ng ilaw dito, nakikita ko yung lampa na ng ilaw dito. Pag maalon siya, na kahit minute na alon, meron pa siyang ikikinis, di ba? It's, it's a small thing, but that's how I can tell if they put more effort sa pintura. I would say it's on the regular side in terms of how manufacturing goes. Meron siyang front switching ventilator windows. Meron rin siyang rear switching ventilator windows. Vents. So you got front vents, that's a good thing. More air for us, right? And then you got on top. So, kakapain mo lang yung part dito. Pindot. Pack! Pack! Medyo matigas. But that's a good thing. At least solid shot. Hindi basta-basta bubuka kung ayaw mo siyang buksan. So, you got a vent sa may mouthpiece niya. You got vent sa taas. And by the rear, you have one. So, ito yung isang vent niya. So, you have one, two, three, four vents. So, DOT certified siya. It is pin lock ready. Meron siyang anti-scratch dual visor design. Maximum vision sa uh, visor. So, let's take this uh, anti-scratch protector out. See what it looks like. Hmm? So, mas nakikita natin yung kanyang angles. Now, let's take a look at the uh, dual visor. Kalagay, optical quality sun visor. Jilly. Twin shield system. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Para rin siyang actually fighter pilot helmet eh, di ba? Alam mo yung mga may pwede mo ilabas yung tubo dito pag ganyan yung dating niya. That's what it looks like to me. Let's talk about the fit and finish of this helmet. This is at 3,900. You have to manage your expectations pag ganun yung price bracket niya. Remember, between 3 and 4,000, maraming pwedeng bumili nito. When you're talking 3,000 pataas, your entry level na patino na yung helmet. Anything cheaper than that, you can already see the differences. So, very competitive to pag nasa 3,000 peso range. Check out 
the finish. First thing I would like to point out are the plastics. Sa mouthpiece, you have the molding over here, kusan sumusot ito. And with the more expensive helmets, I'm talking about yung mga nasa 30,000, 40,000 peso helmet. Papupuna mo yung pagka-rubber niya na malambot, very malleable. This is medyo mas matigas siya ng konti. I guess that's one of the reasons why it is really an affordable helmet. This part has nothing to do with the safety of the helmet pag crash. I mean, ito yung mga anik-anik na details kung bakit may mga helmet na pamahal na pamahal. Bakit ko kinukumpira sa mahal na helmet? So you can have an idea at this price range kung anong ino-offer ni, ni Jilly. So the molds over here, I would say you're getting what you pay for. Meron konting lampas-lampas yung plastics. We're talking nitpicking here, ha? Medyo matagal tayo na quarantine so medyo kung ano-ano na nakikita ko. <laughs> but I'm just saying, this can be improved on also in terms of quality and production maybe they can really make this even more refined this part apart from that design wise i kind of like the idea na meron siyang molding dito na dumugtong sa helmet like so ba hindi siya ka kaagad puting helmet na nakababa dyan meron pa siyang molding bago na umabot dun sa shell what they're trying to achieve there is they're trying to lock out more of the wind noise kasi pag inangat mo to dito may kita mo meron siyang linya dito like so and that's helping block out the wind from seeping it pag nagahatawa na kayo you got a lever here yung shades mo sa loob looking under naman kung medyo na 10 bits tayo sa molding ng plastics niya medyo bumawi naman sila sa fabric the plastic here is parang super pseudo fiber ko no. Pag nakita mo na yung fabric niya dito, it's decent, di ba? Hindi siya cheap na parang magbumulmul and, and all of that. If I pull this out, may logo siya dito. I don't know, can you see it? Can you see it? Natutuwa ako sa ganyan kasi yung mga ganyan little details, that cost money. In-incorporate nila sa foam dun for that part of your head. Yung mga ganyan na dinadagdag, you gotta give them points for that. One of the problems that I have with modular helmets, it's the weight. Hey, bigats talaga ang mga modular helmets. And that's why I prefer full face na single na magaang. Mas sana pag malayan na yung ride, ng bigat ng helmet. Diba? Nakapagod dagdag sa fatigue mo and pag napapagod ko na sa ride, delikado yun. But that said, I've experienced heavier helmets that cost like four times this. Ang bigat talaga. Pero, yung detail and quality niya, solid din. Di ba? May, may trade-off din siya. So, what this has going for it, as modular helmets go, hindi siya kasing bigat ng mga iba out there in the market na sobrang mahal pa. So, let's see how this thing fits. I can say right now, it is not bad. I think this is a size... It's a large. <laughs> Large. Usually, hindi ako nag large. Usually, Excel ako eh. Kaya depende sa make ng helmet. Again, just a little rehash reminder sa inyo. Ang mga ulo po natin, iba-iba ang korte. Especially yung mga ulo ng mga Asians versus yung mga Caucasians. May mga helmet na mas bilog. May mga ibang helmet na mas oval. That's why iba Asian market versus the European market. Size-wise. Parang pupunta ka sa Europe or sa US sa sukat ka na helmet. Parang tika siya. Tapos sakat sa ulo. Same thing. Pag yung mga Europeans na pupunta sa Asia. But parang weird the shape. It's because iba-iba yung korte ng ulo natin. This one is obviously built and made for the Asian market. It's snug right here in the cranium. If I close it, the... I can tell that this is not going to be as quiet as some others. The only reason I can tell is because by default, mga modular helmets mas maingay naman talaga. Pero dito kasi I can already sense and feel that the air is going to be coming on this side with this particular helmet. That's where I hear the sound. Oh, meron pala akong the kiss kiss method to find out where sound can come from. And that is you just rub your fingers like this. If you're keen sa hearing mo, maririnig mo yung tulog niya, it's going to be shh. So what I do. Close everything up, do this. And I can tell where the noise is coming from. So in this case, it's coming from here. You can see here, wala siyang reinforcement dito. That's where I can hear it. But that's just what I do. So in terms of snug and fit, for my size, this actually fits really, really well. Wala akong jaw lock na feeling na parang di ako makapagsalita. As you can see, I'm talking really fine. A lot of people have asked me about those mga nagsasalamin. Kamusta siya pag may salamin? And uh, okay naman siya para sa mga taong may salamin. Now, in terms of weight distribution, usually sa katrin ng modular helmets, they tend to be top heavy. But this one, I feel some of the weight is distributed dito sa may part na to. Iba talaga super top heavy. So, I like the weight distribution. 
Now, in terms of the visor, one of my requests, only very few helmets have achieved this. Alam mo yung kanyara pag binaba mo to. Tapos, hindi lahat na cover. Parang you wish that this could go down even more. So, you don't see any light coming in from your cheeks. And parang iba yung kulay dark dito, tas dito iba yung dating. So, ang galing dito, yung korte nito is following this. When you're riding like this, you can see that parang ka naka full shades talaga. So, yun, okay yun. So in terms of looks, it reminds me of outer space. <laughs> this is not as slanted as some of the newer helmets were in. The visor is really more modern. It looks futuristic but retro at the same time. It's like a space helmet of the 80s. So hindi siya ganun kaluma, pero futuristic siya. That's how I explain it. Unong -un nakita ko yung logo ng Jilly's. I'm like, wow! Yo, Joe! Parang G.I. Joe from the 80s. If you've seen the series back in that era, then you'll know what I mean. But upon closer look, and when I was asking how it's pronounced, akala ko nga nung una, Gilly. But it's actually pronounced Jilly. Unfortunately, hindi ko masashare sa inyo yung wind noise kasi hindi ako makapagbotor riding it. Maybe one day I can borrow another helmet from Jilly and we can see how that goes and really test it in terms of wind. At least uh, 100 kilometers per hour, which is supposed to be everybody's cruising speed if we're following the speed limit. Diba? There you have it. Giveaway time! Yes, we are going to give away this splendid helmet bago po siya sa ating bansa and nakaka-excite pag meron tayong mga bagong products kasi pag maraming produkto, pag marami tayong choices, maganda yung presyohan. It becomes really competitive and that's a good thing. So I'm going to request Parker Brothers if we can give away a helmet that will really fit you. So hindi yung large, di ba? Kasi pabigay ko to sa hindi pala kasha. So papasukatin natin yan sa'yo. So, how to win this helmet? Basically, like what I said kanina about the whole pinapantay natin yung YouTube and uh, Facebook, the whole bad luck analogy. You're watching this in YouTube kasi yung napanood yung video sa Facebook is just a teaser. And usually yung mechanics natin sa makina stuff entails you to do a screenshot na hindi nyo magagawa sa YouTube. So ito yung instructions. First is you have to subscribe to the YouTube channel of Makina. Number two, you have to like the video. Number three, you have to share the video, right? This video, kasama yung hashtags Jilly's Helmets, Makina Stuff, Havoline Ride Strong, Motobuilds Pilipinas 2020 goes online. So once you share that video, si screenshot nyo yung lahat. And then, yung screenshot nun, ilalagay nyo dun sa teaser video sa Facebook, hindi dito. Like what I said, we can't do screenshots here in YouTube. So yung screenshot na yun, comment nyo doon sa Facebook teaser ng video na to. So yun lang yung mga kailangan yung tandaan. And after that, we're gonna choose the winner. That's it. Again, congratulations to Hardcore Brothers for bringing in Jilly's helmets. Andiyan kayo sa labanan na 3,900. It's a modular helmet at that price. Mapapaisip ka. And to those joining our little helmet giveaway, good luck to you. This is Zach for Makina Stuff. Welcome to the new normal and I'll see you guys around. Ride safe. Ciao. Sa kang 
dum dum dummy.